from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. Good morning, I'm WRTV's Caitlin Kendall. Here's a look at some of your latest headlines. This morning, firefighters say improperly discarded smoking material started an overnight house fire. Crews were called to retreat lane around 1.30 this morning. That's on Indy's far southeast side. The fire eventually spread to two neighboring homes and two firefighters were hurt when one of the ceilings of one of those homes collapsed on them. We're told one had serious injuries. They are both expected to survive and those dogs there are credited with helping all the other people get out. This morning, a longtime Rushville restaurant is considered a total loss following a Tuesday fire. Firefighters from more than a dozen departments were called to the corner restaurant just after five Tuesday evening. We're told one firefighter is being treated for minor injuries and what started that fire still remains under investigation. This morning, an Indianapolis City County Councilor is proposing a strategy to deal with potholes. Proposal 306 asks city officials to restructure the proposed 2025 budget to double the departments of public works. Councilor Josh Bain, who proposed this, hopes that the boost will give the department the resources they need to fix the city's infrastructure. Kevin? 87 for the high this afternoon. Now it's not a July 87, it's a September 87. And what I'm trying to say is the humidity is missing. Don't have heat index values to talk about. Uh, the 87 will be relatively comfortable. Temperatures fall back into the 70s as we go through the evening hours. During the day on the tomorrow, Thursday, cloud cover will increase out ahead of the remnants of Francine. Our rain chances will increase Friday, mainly southern half of the state. To the north of I-70, rain chances diminish very quickly. Showers possible Saturday, again, especially south, and then Sunday through Tuesday, partly cloudy with temperatures low to mid-80s. Kevin, thank you. For more stories and weather that you need to know, make sure you have that WRTV mobile app downloaded for the very latest. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you have a good day.